Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today I'm going to show you just how good a Shop Saber CNC can cut acrylic plastic. You know, CNC routers cut plastic really, really well, but a lot of people just use wood bits to do that, and that works fine. But if you really want a premium surface, you really need to use tools just for that. That's what we're gonna do in this video. But before we do that, let's take a look at why this machine is so good for plastic application. The application in our video actually has some real unique requirements that have to do with edge finish and accuracy of surfaces. So it made sense for us to select one of our machine tool grade CNC's. This happens to be an IS 4x8. And when I say machine tool grade, here's what that means. It means it has an all welded structural steel frame. All the machining's done in a single setup. We use precision contour guide rails. We use ball screw drives, all of that stuff, AC digital servos, and of course our Super Z technology. But there's another part of this machine also that I wanted to show, and that's how you fix your parts. We show vacuum tables with flow through a lot, and typically you'll see a, a spool board on there. That's not always required. In fact, in our case here, in our setup, we're actually gonna use a fixture board that's just held by vacuum in one zone. So that's a real important part, once again, of creating this part. Part locator pins make it real easy to do setups to position spool boards and things like that. And of course, this machine has an automatic tool changer because our applications have multiple tools. This happens to have one of our HSD 10 horsepower spindles and a 10 position tool changer. Like all Shop Saber CNC routers, this machine features our Shop Saber CNC controller. It's really easy to use for your operator. You know, if you'd like more information on the IS series machines, you can go to shopsaber.com and watch a video just about how these machines are built. Now let's go in the office and let's take a look at software. Shop Saber CNC routers cut plastics really, really well and produce really good edges. And the reason for that is, is the ball screw design, how we design the frames, our Super Z technology, all those things lead to really good edge finishes. Now, woodworking tools will cut plastic pretty good. But if you really want good edges, you need to use tools that are made for cutting plastic. And if you really want a great edge, they make polycrystalline diamond tools just for that purpose. What I want to do in this video is first give you a little overview of how you tool plastic. And then we're going to do a direct, direct comparison of the finishes produced by the standard plastic tools and the polycrystalline diamond tools. Let me show you how we're going to set this test up. We're going to start out with a piece of acrylic plastic that's a half inch thick and roughly 12 inches by 36. Okay, we're actually going to cut two rectangles. We're going to make them a little bit smaller so that the parts are held in by a, a skeleton because we want the cutting actions to be as equal as possible. Now, if you're not familiar with cutting plastic, there's some different rules on plastics tools. First off, we typically make a rough pass followed by a finished pass, and here's why. In plastics, the rule of thumb is the maximum depth of cut for a tool is its diameter. So if I'm going to use a 3 8 diameter cutting tool, I can't cut a half inch plastic in one pass, so I'll do it in two passes. We're also going to use a special tool made for plastic. This is a 3 8 it's called an O-flute tool, and it's a single flute. That's made just for cutting this plastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around each of the parts, uh, in two passes, then we're gonna we're actually gonna leave about ten thousandths of material. So when we cut those, uh, the parts will be about ten thousandths oversized all the way around. What we're doing is we're leaving a certain amount of material for the finished pass to remove. Okay, on one one of these pieces, we're also gonna make our finished pass with the same plastic tool. All right, we're just gonna slow it down, speed it up a little bit, and that should give us a really really good edge. And that's pretty much how you cut plastics. Now, on the other test, the finish pass is going to be done by a polycrystalline diamond bit that's designed just for this. So, so our rough passes are going to be the same. The part on the left is going to be done with the special plastic tool. The part on the right is going to be done with the diamond tool. Now, let's look at our tool pathings here in VCAR Pro. Okay, we'll come over here. What we're going to do first is our first tool path. We're gonna make a, a climb cut. If I open this up, you can see where I basically told it what the thickness is, how many passes we're gonna do. We're cutting on the outside. We're leaving an allowance. So the part's gonna be oversized all the way around by 10 thousandths. And we're gonna make our cut. Okay, then the first piece, the piece on the left, that's gonna be cut with the same tool with the O-flute. So that's gonna be the finish pass. Once again, 
Uh, we slow it down. We're going to do this in one pass, and we're going to remove the allowance. And then on the other part, on this one over here, everything's the same. We just switch to a different tool, and that happens to be that diamond tool. So that's how we've arranged this contest. Now, let's talk about how this gets set up on the machine itself. Now, the machine we're doing this on, of course, is the IS-408. So it's, it's, a, it's typically, it's our most popular machine, and it's something that typically a cabinet maker might buy. But you know, you don't always have to cut four by eight sheets. Our tables are designed with vacuum zones. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the part with flow through, but we're gonna actually use a smaller spool board, one that basically covers the first zone. So that's what you see on the screen here. So that's gonna be the spool board, and then I have the plastic sheet up here. Once again, then we'll go out and we'll run those tool paths and, and we'll compare the edges. Let's go out to the shop and do that. Wow, the edge finish produced by that polycrystalline diamond is just phenomenal. I would not have believed this if I hadn't done it myself. Holy cow. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.